In this video, I am going to create a link chain to print on my Grality K1. And I'm going to use nylon because uh, other materials probably break. Definitely PLA would not be able to hold much. And uh, let's see other stuff. ASA, that, would, that stuff likes to crack. But uh, nylon seems pretty good. And or um, polycarbonate, although nylon is less challenging than polycarbonate. So let's go ahead and create a uh, link chain. And I'm going to do something a little different here. We're going to start right at the beginning with some variables. So I'm going to say uh, link LL for link length. <laughs> say that. Say that ten times fast. Link length. Um, and so let's say it's, uh, we'll give it a one inch long for now. And then we go LW for link width. And we'll say, I don't know, 0 0.38, 3 eighths of an inch. And then we'll say uh, link diameter for the wire diameter. And we'll call that, uh, I don't know if it's 3 eighths then it should be less than one eighth, right? So it should be, uh, let's call it a 0 0.09. And so I can adjust any of those whenever I want. So now let's uh, create a sketch here. Um, yeah, yeah, I am going to do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to create the link and then I'm going to rotate it. So the reason I'm using uh, variables like that is so uh, for when I pattern this, uh, when I adjust the size of it, then the pattern should also adjust nicely. And so there's that guy. Well, I guess I should give it uh, give it the dimensions, and we'll go equals quote ll. Enter one inch, and. Um, I don't want to do the radius because that'll give me half of the number. So then we say equals quote LW quote enter. And wow, this is a lot, uh, <laughs> not the proportions I was thinking of. That's, uh, that's okay because I can easily, Alt E brings me into here and I can make it, this is going to be a wimpy little chain. Just something to, to hang light stuff off of. So it should be a 0.5 not five and of course I'm recording so my dog starts barking he wants to go out too bad dog all right you can go out after I do this I'm gonna create a plane here uh, pre-select those and control plus was my shortcut for plane and it's done it's super quick and easy and then oops and then I'm gonna escape out of that I'm gonna see for circle on that plane and this diameter is going to be equals quote WD quote enter and ah no because I didn't call it wire diameter I called that link diameter aha uh -huh. oh my dog's angry I'm gonna let my dog in out yeah my dog is quite elderly and so belligerent and needy high maintenance all right and oh, I already called that that and then I'm going to rebuild and I'm going to go control shift s for sweep and I'll select this guy and then I'll select this guy and he already wants to come back in and we're back okay dog is in uh, I'm going to turn this sketch on because I'm going to use this line to rotate around although I probably can't pre-select that let's move parties uh, translate rotate rotate Correct. I cannot pre-select that. Uh, I would say rotate this 80 degrees. Ah, select the body. Can I do negative here? Yep. And I'm just thinking about how I want to do this. Um, I'm just going to do this. I'm just 
just going to give myself a little bit of reference geometry there. Select that point in the base plane. And, uh, oh, no, I want an axis. That's not what I wanted to do. Creating an axis by that control key, that point, this guy. Ah, I can turn my keyboard on for you. And my mouse. And how's that work out? Nice. There we go. Okay. So I am selecting with the control key. Select this guy. Select this plane. Control back slash gives me, uh, creates a an axis for me. What? I must have done something wrong there. I'll do that again. Point. Control. So I plan axis. There we go. I don't know why that didn't work last time. Obviously, uh, user malfunction. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, circular pattern. I could also do move body rotate, but circular pattern is a little more refined command. I could go into that. What I mean. I probably won't. Um, so now I can just drag this to reposition my axis to get this just as I want. And okay, so 80 degrees, not quite enough. Uh, oops. Let's call this uh, 70 minus 70. And that, my friends, gives me what I want there. Let's go this, this way a little bit and down like this. Too much. Yeah, that's going to be... There we go. That's better. All right. I could do something funky and... Let's see. Let's see if... Show you what I mean. I don't think I'll do this, but I might. Just because it would be different. Uh, let's see. And what was it? I was saying link length. So that's going to be one. Oh, no, 0.5. That's right. And so this is what I was saying would be funky. Is if I. Oh, that doesn't. No, I can't do that because it would interfere. Can I do this times two? What's up, kitty cat? Did you hear that? My cat meow over there. Godzilla. What's up, Godzilla? And all right, how many do I want to do here? Let's go one more. Okay. Ah. <laughs> that is not. Oh, because I accidentally changed. I didn't realize I w it would. Uh, why is that not working? There we go. Uh, this should stay to 0. 0.5. Um, actually. I need a new variable to be, let's say, link offset, L-O. I'm going to call that equals, quote, L-L, quote, times 2. Can I do that here? An equation can't have an equal sign. Sure. There we go. Okay. So link offset is going to be... L O and equals L O. Oh, no, no, no. I need to get out of, yeah, okay, there we go. L O. There we go. Uh, yeah, that should uh, do it. Let's have a look at this end. 
Yeah, okay. Now I'm going to... Uh, let's see. Direction 2. Direction 2 is going to be this way. And... Let's just let's see if LL does this does this right. Do I want that much chain? Why not? All right, let's see. So what I really need to do is connect. Oh, this this part could be tricky. Uh, okay, I need to do that one less in that in the y direction. I can't see that. I'm just gonna go into here, change it like so, and move copy bodies and rotate it ninety degrees. I don't know why it didn't, but now it did. And then I need to move it. Hmm. That. So I guess I need to rotate it there, downward. Let's. I'm going to throw an axis in here. And move body, move copy bodies, and rotate, turn on axis visibility, and let's go 10 degrees here. And I think I'm going to sneeze. I don't, it seems like the only time I sneezed recently is when I'm trying to record a video. If I look at the light, will I sneeze? No, I talked myself out of it. All right. Not the right angle. This is going to hmm. I may need a whole bunch of <laughs> supports for this. We'll see how this plays out. Let's go twenty degrees here. Thirty degrees. All right. And move it one more time. good. Uh, okay, whatever. I'll just do a second pattern for this guy. And I'm probably going to have to add some sort of custom support for this guy. I think the other ones will probably print okay. But this guy's leaned over so far. Ah, interesting. It's also lower. How did that happen? Well, anyway. Bodies. But one less. And okay. And I need to also copy all these guys. Copy. Uh, like skewed how did I oh 
that. Let's roll back a bit here. This should be 90. Okay. At what point did it go lower? Not there. How did that happen? Z, let's make Z zero. Zero. Okay. Roll to the end. All right, so that's straightened out. But these guys are not positioned properly. So I want to do one more. Oh. I'll show you. I'm just going to use this sketch because I can. Godzilla making weird noises. Uh, that's going to be horizontal, yeah. So, the reason I did that is because now I'm going to create a plan with that. And mirror all of these guys. I think I can actually turn off copy and mirror. Ah, bodies. And ah, it's way off. But anyway, um, now I guess I do have to copy them with the mirror. Okay. And then I just need to delete these guys. Uh, delete. I guess I'll just do this select manually. Okay, so now I have a chain, and what's the chances that that's going to print correctly? Slim to none, but I can probably figure something out. Is that below? No, okay. Um, hmm. For one thing, that's going to be a lot of filament, a lot of nylon there. Uh, maybe I'll do it in PLA just as a test. Let's see. Anyway, I'm going to see what happens if I tell it supports only off the bed and automatic supports. So I'm going to uh, ask for save. One of my favorite shortcuts. Alt F A. Why did my my desktop background has changed when I restarted the computer. Okay, whatever. Um, now I need to save the... S uh, actually, Creality Print does support step files now, so that gives you a smoother parts. And so we'll do that. And we'll throw the old date code on there. 0915B, because it's my second print of the day, and I forgot to put a space, but that's fine. And so then I open my Creality Print Slicer, which always takes a second. All right, uh, that's done. Let's just uh, let's see what happens if we just say slice it. I want to compare how much material, and if I do the uh, automatic supports, how much material w will it use? Okay, All right. and it gave everything an auto brim. I wonder what the chances are that those would not fall over with that auto brim. 
I'm tempted to try it just for the fun of it. But on the other hand, by the time it fails, all right, five hours, 62 grams. That's not even that much material. Uh, yeah, like a sixteenth of a kilogram. Um, hmm. All right. Well, let's. Uh, oh man, this thing's gonna catch on fire if I turn the. If I tell it to reslice with supports. Let's do that. <laughs> okay. Supports. Uh, build plate adhesion. Oh wait, no, that's not. Support. Support. Generate supports. Support structure. Tree slim. Actually, go tree strong. I like the tree strong, how that came out. Uh, support everywhere. Uh, okay. So let's uh, see what happens. See if the computer catches on fire here when I hit slice. It should not, because it's a badass beast of a computer. All right, it has sliced. Now, one thing I don't like, I'm less concerned about these, I'm more concerned about supporting this as it uh, goes up at such an angle. Hopefully they survive all the way up there, because for, for whatever reason, the supports don't want to support this curve, these curved portions, which is uh, unfortunate. Maybe I'll try... I'll we'll try regular supports. So this added so I went from 62 grams to 87 grams. So I'm going to go back and try it with regular supports. I'm going to do a screen capture on this just for my thumbnail. Let's go into here and supports and say normal. And only from bed. Touching build plate. That's what I said. All right. Well, that didn't uh, change anything. These still are not supported on the curved parts. So, kind of uncool. Um, so instead, I'm going to go to Plan C. So let's go back to prepare and add some supports manually, which I don't enjoy doing. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So hopefully it'll let me add manual supports and then also add the tree supports. I'm going to bank on that all these Y-axis oriented ones are not going to fall over. But I am concerned about this guy falling over. I don't need the support this wide. Uh, let's go five, five millimeters. One there. Oh, this is gonna take all year. Holy cannoli! <laughs> that is finicky. Holy cow. And I have my usual problem of uh, what? Why is there like one pixel where that works? That does not make sense. I mean, maybe if I'm going from the other side. Wow. Thanks, Creality. nearly impossible to place these supports. Less than ideal, but hopefully it works. And the funny thing is, I'm going to set this to go, and then I'm going to go out for the night. <laughs> It's going to make it halfway, and then everything's going to fall apart, and it's going to turn into a big, 
chain link mess. Or, or, it could do great. Let's find out. Okay, well, this is unexpected. Uh, <laughs> so I add these uh, manual supports. Wow, this looks like a big gap. Like, how is that going to support it? Whatever. Anyway, so I added those supports manually, and then I told it to... Uh, I told it to add the tree supports, and uh, it didn't. It won't add them. I tried two different ways. I tried support from bed only. I tried support everywhere. So evidently, what is this? Uh, So, for whatever reason, because I added a few manual supports, now it is refusing to add the tree supports. And I don't see how to override that. I don't know. I think I'm just going to try it like this. And uh see what happens. It did it did do it did uh it give me the brim on them. So hopefully the brim <laughs> by some miracle hopefully the brim holds them up, which I jeez that seems impossible cuz that's so narrow. But uh I wonder if I could after this fails <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll reprint them. Maybe I'll redesign it, which is actually easy to uh, change that. Uh, well, not really, because I'll break my... Hmm. Interesting thought. What if I go into my SolidWorks? And just right at the beginning here. If I... Oops. I do. Oh, uh, well, maybe that doesn't. Um, so what did I? I went. How much did I lean it over? Eighty degrees. I think so. So anyway, if I do this, I go polygon. But I want. So from. I want it to be rotated. So if I'm rotating it, uh, if I'm rotating it 20 degree, well, well, let's just call it 80, because that's what I put in there. And about yay big. So now, ah, not the right angle. So I need to make this seventy. No, that's not going to do it either. Sixty. flat now and but these guys wow did you hear that these guys are way wrong but I 
dog is very belligerent these days. He's old and belligerent. Um... But if I rotate it the other way, if I rotate it the other way, let's see. Let's go minus 30 and see what happens. Oh, no, I need to go minus 50 because it's of the tw uh, 20. Minus 50. No, minus 50. Not enough. Uh, actually, let me undo that. And I'm going to save a copy of this. Seems how I'm breaking it. Yeah, I did that. Um, minus 70? Nope, minus 60, I think I wanted. Minus 60. Okay. And, but I need to rotate it 180 degrees. Let's just do this and hundred and eighty. And I didn't want it to copy, so let's uncheck the copy box. And let's adjust this guy. Okay, now, does this play nice if I go all the way to the end? Look at that. Look at that. Looking good. Save. Save as. Step file. I say 0915D. Step. I'm going to do the STL also while in here. And 0519D. Oh, 0915D. Alright. Yes. Now, if I. Whoa. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. Delete. Open. I wonder if the sports will actually work better now that I have flat surfaces to work with too. It's quite, it's a definite possibility. So let's uh, yeah, that should work out. And so if I if the sports should already be on. Uh, yeah, let's uh, slice. Okay, well, so the supports are not uh, cooperating. So I, I adjusted the design to these hex hex cross section. Uh, that doesn't uh, 
show extremely well, but we should make it a little more stable to print. We will see what happens. Stay tuned. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, please consider sharing it with your friends and or otherwise helping people to find it by clicking the thumbs up and uh, commenting, and uh, consider subscribing. I uh, hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks again.